Hey, this is Jane with Useful Knowledge. Well, I'm down in my garden in the corn patch and I'm about to harvest our sweet corn for the summer. Now, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take you step by step through harvesting your sweet corn all the way through processing it for your freezer. Now, we do things a little different. We actually do it outside in the garden right next to our corn patch. I'm going to take you step by step through what we do. So stay tuned. When you're looking for sweet corn to harvest, you look for one that actually where the tassels are brown, just like this one, and it's plump. So you just pop that off, and you have an ear of corn. Okay, so this is our sweet corn that we just picked. Uh, we've got a whole six foot John Deere bucket full of sweet corn. We've got to process, and it probably will take us about three or four hours. Okay, once you harvest your corn, you want to shuck it. And all you do to shuck it is you just do this. Just pull it down. Pull it. I pop off the end. Pull all that. And there you go. And what we do here, when you've got either some that, that maybe didn't produce or whatever, just cut that off. And you've got an ear of corn. And so we'll go ahead and pull all these silks off and this will be ready for blanching. So we're going to do a bunch of these up and I'm going to show you how to blanch them. So when you have silks in your corn, just brush those silks out. You can use a toothbrush or something like this that I got at one of the big box stores. So do that and you won't have any silks in your corn. Okay, so basically what we're doing is we're blanching the corn. But instead of doing it inside in the kitchen, we're doing it out in the garden. So what we have set up is two catfish cookers and two very large pots. So once we put the corn in here and let it boil for about five minutes, we're gonna move it over to our coolers. And these coolers are full of water. This first cooler is where the hot corn's gonna go. We're gonna let that stay in there for about five or 10 minutes. And then we're gonna move it over to the second stage cooler to actually help it cool down even more before we get ready to put it in our one gallon freezer bags. Okay, we're gonna start blanching our first few ears of corn. So once this boils for about five minutes, we're going to move it over to our two stages of cool down water coolers. And then we're gonna bag it up for freezing. Okay, these have been boiling for about five minutes. We're gonna move them over to our first stage of cool down in our big cooler over here. And usually what I do is I just grab them with some tongs and throw them in there. So what this is gonna do, it's gonna stop the cooking process. And then the second stage of cooling it down is gonna cool it down enough that we can put it in our freezer without making our freezer work too hard to actually get it to freeze. Because once you got all, get all this in your freezer, you want your corn somewhat cooled down so your freezer can operate properly. This corn has came out of the boiling pot and it's been in there for about 10 minutes. We're gonna move it over to the second stage, cool down. And all you do is just move it with your tongs. Now, as you do this, this water will become hot. Your first stage, cool down will become hot. All you do is just dump that water out, fill it back up with some cold water. Okay, all we're gonna do now, this has been cooling for about another 10 minutes. We're just gonna take that out and put it in a Ziploc bag. Now, from experience, you're gonna end up with about five to six ears of corn per Ziploc bag. These are one gallon freezer bags. Just make sure you use one gallon freezer bags. Okay, there you go. That's our first bag of corn for the summer. And like I said, you usually end up getting about six ears of corn for a freezer bag. Now make sure you use freezer bags, not the storage bags, and this will, will help protect your corn while it's in the freezer. So we hope you gained some useful knowledge on how to harvest and process corn right out in the garden where it tastes fresh all year long. I will show you some more video here in just a little bit on what all my freezer looks like in the morning. Okay, so we ended up with about half a freezer full of corn. It ended up being about 37 bags. It took us about four hours to process it all, but it's some great tasting corn. And so overall, it was a good harvest out of the garden this year for corn. So we hope you gained some useful knowledge on how we harvest 
and process our corn. We do it right on the side of the garden. We don't heat up our kitchen and it makes for some easy cleanup when you're done. Thanks for watching.